I'm just, I've just put a stick there and the sun is not going to come out. I've been waiting for about an hour now, it's not going to come out. I put a stick in there to show that the, the shadow would be cast either direction. Either this direction, that direction, that direction or that direction. So, and then with these grooves here, so if that's north, that's north, that's west where it comes out there. Can you see? That's west. But see that? That's the setting of the sun. This is a winter solstice stone. That's what it is. It's to mark the sun. That groove there matches up with that stick, can you see? And it mar matches up with these grooves here. So there's three, there's three curves there. One, two, let's go three. Then, So it's to do with all these pitted marks. It's to do with seasons. It's a calendar stone. Not only is it a calendar stone, but it doubles up. It does up, doubles up as a, it's a fertility stone, that's what it is. Look at the shape of it. Look at the shape of it. It's got one point there, goes down, comes down, comes up. It's the eye of fertility. I'm calling it the Abbot Stone, but it's not the Abbot Stone. That's the eye of fertility. Roman's going to get the stick now. Never mind. Roll on the summer. Yes, he says I'm having that stick down. Monty's thinking, no, you're not. I'm going to get that, Roma. Okay, you can have it. Look at. You can see. There's a little bit of sun coming out now. And if Roma would have left that alone, we might have seen a shadow. <sighs> you see? Never worked with dogs. Yeah, Rom. It's getting to me now, this stone. It's not getting to me. I'm just figuring it out. It's got a nice rounded edge. A nice rounded edge. I think this stone, it's, it's got marks on it like, which are like early Neolithic, like I've seen plenty of times on the early Neolithic stones up on Whistle Rough, you know. But this one's been, it's been used, you know, up through time it's been used by different tribes, by different people. And by me uncovering this today, or the other day, it's going to be used again. It's going to be respected. So we've got the white triangle there. You know, that's a druid mark. That's a druid mark. The white triangle. But I've just rubbed some more off and it's going to reveal something else yet. You mark my words. You mark my words. I'm going to learn a lot more from this stone. This stone has got a lot to teach us yet. But I'll tell you what it is. It's a fertility stone. Definitely. Just going off the shape of it. Just going off the shape of it. Just going off the marks, what I can see on it. Um, it's what I've seen, it's what I've seen up on Whistle Rough. So this is the southern gator of the mighty Pennines. This. So that's south now, that's south. So the sun, well it's probably there actually south. Yeah it is. That's south there. So the sun is almost south of us. 
this nodule on the top there that could represent the alignments of the sun the alignment of the sun so when it's setting later on there's west it will be setting in one of those nodules so when it gets to up here you know winter's here isn't it how brilliant somebody told me to come here today and i'm glad i did just wanted to um, get this on video this side um, I'm not cleaned I've not done any cleansing down the bottom there purely because that's the space where um, the people will be looking into the woodlands and those who don't know it's here won't be bothered about it but those of you who are watching will be bothered about it so we've got a nice groove there can you see a beautiful groove so I should imagine you see that's north that's north north east so that groove is pointing that way there's something in there beyond those trees just beyond those trees there they always point they always use that point that north north east point like an arrow to point to the dead but that's for another day that's for another day that's for another day